Hey, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do Olo and PLO parody on the 4x4. Let's roll it! Alright, so first off, I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of what OLL and PLL parody is. If you don't want to listen to that and just want to see the algorithm part, then skip to the time right here. So basically, OLL parody is when your cube looks something like this, when one edge is just flipped around. So basically, on a 3x3, it's impossible to flip only one edge. If you were to, then the cube would be impossible to solve. You can take out an edge and then put it back in flipped, but now the cube will be absolutely impossible to solve because you can't do an algorithm on a 3x3 three three to flip only one edge. So basically what's happening on this 4x4 four four is you're swapping these two edges and flipping them at the same time. So it's not just flipping the edge, you're flipping and swapping. That's why it's possible on a 4x4 four four and not on a 3x3. Three three. So now for the overview of PLO parity. So PLO parity is when you swap this edge pair with this edge pair. It's not possible on a 3x3. Three three. There's no algorithm to swap only two edges. They, you can do a T-perm that swaps these two edges, but it also swaps these two corners. And just... There are lots of algorithms that can swap to edges, but they also swap to corners along with the edges. But here, what is happening is you're not swapping this with this. You're swapping this with this and this with this. That is why it is possible on a 4x4. Four four. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do OLO parity on a 4x4. Four four. I'll have the algorithm on the screen right here. But it's better to just watch what my hands are doing and how the pieces are moving if you're a beginner. So the pattern is this layer, these two layers just move up and down. And this upper layer just keeps on going two times. So when I say two, I'm saying you move the upper layer two times. When I say up, you're moving the right side up. And down is the right side down. And there is a move with the left side. And I'll tell you guys when that is. First up, you do a right side up, two, then you do an X. X is when you just take the side that's on the top and put it in the back. And then you do up, two, up, two, down, two, then left side down, two, right side down again, two, up, two, down, two, down. And you have solved a little parity. Most of the time it won't look like what I just showed you with these four pieces flipped around. It will look something like this. A lot of the times your OLO parity will look like this. So this case is not possible on a 3x3, three three. only one edge cannot be facing up. As well as if there's three edges facing up, that is also not possible on a 3x3, three three. therefore you have OLO parity. You can just do the same algorithm when you get this case. And you have fixed OLL parity, and you can just go into normally solving it like a 3x3. Three three. Okay, next I'm going to show you guys how to do the PLL parity. PLL parity is when these two edges are just swapped around. I have the algorithm on the screen, but it's better to just look at how my hands are moving and how the pieces are moving around. So middle layer R is... These two are the middle layers and the right side, so this one. So this is the middle layer right two, U two, middle layer right two, UY two. So you turn this layer along with the layer right below it. So UY two, middle layer R two, UY two, and U two. You have solved PLL parity. I hope this video helped you guys learn how to solve OLL and PLL parity on the 4x4. If you want me to make a video on how parity works on different puzzles, then let me know in the comments as well as any other thoughts or questions that you have. And be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Share this video with your friends so they can learn parity on 4x4 as well. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.